so be sure to leave me some comments down in the question. Wait. Hi everybody, my name is Rosaline. Welcome back to my channel, Act Chubby. So I'm obviously in a different space today. This is actually in my office. This is our day bed, sort of little guest area. You can probably tell by the wallpaper that the room is very dated. But underneath this wallpaper, there are at least three more layers of wallpaper, and the bottom one is bonded straight to the plaster. There was no such thing as sizing when they put up the first uh, layer that's in here, and taking everything down and, and redoing it is going to be a pain. So for now, it's clean, it's functional. I put some stuff on the walls that I have just had like sitting in my closet or on the floor or cluttering up my desk for a long time. It's pleasant to be in here now, so cosmetically, I'm not going to worry about any of this stuff. This is very low on our priority list for things that we need to get done around the house. I've mentioned before our house is about 117 years old. <laughs> so we've repaired the plaster in most of the rooms, but this room and our bedroom need to have the wallpaper stripped um, and then have the plaster repaired and stuff like that before we can really do more cosmetic stuff to it. And this room is just the last the last thing that we're gonna touch in the house. Now that the room is clean and functional, I have a giant pile of stuff to donate or give away or sell. I filled at least three, I think four of those big like 60 gallon trash bins that you roll out to the curb of garbage. Like I'd like to donate or recycle as much as possible, but some things are just trash and they, I filled two of the recycling bins that are the same size as well with papers and old files. My problem now is that big pile that's in my dining room taking up space. I have been torn between trying to sell off as much as I can to get some money. I don't know if I want to take the time and leave all that in there as I sell it off bit by bit or if I want to just donate it all and get it out of the house. So I think my plan this weekend is to try and sort of compromise between those two and go through the pile and pull out a few things, maybe one container of stuff that I think will actually fetch decent money and be worth the time and effort of selling and then get the rest out and donate it or give it away to people who want it. If you guys would like to see sort of a before and after of this office before I decluttered it slash purged my hoard. Um, I'd be happy to show you. It'd be a little bit embarrassing, but I'd be happy to do a uh, before and after. And then maybe someday when I finally rip off this 50 or 60 year old wallpaper and all the layers of wallpaper underneath and repair the plaster and fix the ceiling and replace the light and paint the baseboards and sand down the door and refinish the floors, etc., I can do another after. <laughs> That's all beside the point. I'm sure a lot of you are here for the actual weigh-in, so let's go ahead and do that. Come out. It's ready. Three hundred and sixty-five point zero pounds. Okay. So. I lost 0.2 pounds this week, so it's not a gain. But I also talked in my video on Tuesday about being more accountable with myself and figuring out how I've been sort of sabotaging myself lately, so if you can't tell, I had that talk with myself after this past weekend. I was, I did pretty well for most of the weekend, like we were at my parents and I felt like I ate pretty healthy, then we came home on Sunday. It's fine. All we can do is keep moving forward. Can't change it now. So from here on out, no more full on cheat days, just one unstructured day in the week. So by that I mean one day that's not the same meals as the rest of the week, but is still within my calories and macros and stuff. That was working for me at the beginning and I feel like it could work again. I just need to buckle down and do it again. Another thing that I haven't been doing recently that I want to start doing again because I think it was actually very helpful was essentially like visualizing and then actualizing things like stating goals 
focusing on non-scale victories because I've said from the beginning that I have a whole bunch of stuff I need to work on, that this is a whole like personal journey, not just a weight loss journey. And like I've talked to my counselor on BetterHelp about it and like several of you have mentioned in the comments, stating things clearly and being intentional and purposeful has a lot of power. So I haven't done this, I don't think in like a couple months, but let's talk about non-scale victories. So obviously I got the office back and I put a lot of time and energy and effort into it. I'm pretty happy about that. But I'm also happy about the way I had more energy to do it. I was able to move around longer, keep at it harder, not get winded, able to stand up and go through things, bend over and stand up and squat down and get on my hands and knees, which bleeping hurt, but like scrub this floor, which needed more than a mopping. And I was able to do a lot of that stuff that has been really hard for me in recent years without getting too winded or in too much pain, getting up and down on ladders to put up some shelves and stuff on the walls in here. I was just really happy with how my body worked with me and how I was able to use it without having to stop every five minutes. So in addition to that, non-scale victory, I also want to start doing stating my goals again. So I used to say what my immediate term goals were, or like what I was going to work on like right now this week, my short term goals like in the next few weeks or months, and then my long term goals. So what do I want to accomplish eventually someday? And I sort of fell off the habit of doing that and I would like to get back into it because again, I think that stating my purpose can be pretty powerful. So my immediate term goals this week are to drink enough water. I've done okay for the past few days, but for the past several weeks, I have not been doing great. So immediately starting today, I need to get in enough water. My other immediate term goal is that this coming up week, I need to go back to swimming because I haven't gone for the past few weeks. And I think that's also having an effect on the scale. I would also like to lose two pounds this week. I think that's completely doable. It should have been doable the past several weeks. And I know like some people are frustrated not seeing a lot of progress from me. Believe me, you are not as frustrated as I am. <laughs> anyway, my short term goals. So what I want to accomplish in the next month or so is I want to research and maybe decide on some exercise routines that aren't going to hurt me a lot that I can do on my own maybe with Josh, and once I hit 350, I'm going to start exercising. I've decided that's my benchmark, that's what I'm gonna start like exercising in earnest, not just doing a few things here and there. I also want to hit 360 first, that is my current short-term weight goal, um, because that will mean that I've lost 75 pounds. My long-term goal hasn't really changed since I started this channel. Weight-wise, I still wanna get to 158, but I have another new long-term goal, which I really only started working on these past couple weeks. And it didn't really occur to me to film a video about it, but if you guys are interested in it, I'd be happy to talk about it and maybe do some project, project, progress pics as I go along. I have forward head posture. So like when I'm just sitting or standing, my head is kind of forward like this, instead of like back and straight. I have bad posture and it's creating a curve at the top of my spine in addition to having sort of a fatty lump there just because I'm so overweight. So I've really been trying the past several weeks to like concentrate on pulling my head back and working those muscles like my trapezius and your sternocleidomastoids, which is a fun word. These muscles that basically go from behind your jaw down to your collarbone basically working on all of those to try and correct that hump. Cause it's one of those things that I've noticed before but never really did anything about and assumed it was just my posture. But now that I've been trying to work on my posture, I realize that it's like a permanent thing and it's correctable, but it takes a long time. So if you guys are interested in some of the exercise I've been doing for that or stretches or what it actually looks like or updates on it, 
I'd be happy to do a video on that as well. Before I go, just a few reminders. You can follow me on social media with the username back to chubby, all one word. I really have been trying to be more active on it. I have made an effort <laughs> to be present on all of my social media platforms the past few days, and I'm trying to keep it going, trying to connect with you guys in other ways. As a reminder, I do read every single comment on the YouTube video. Sometimes I can't keep up with them all. Just, I just can't. But I usually get fewer like comments on other social media platforms, so I tend to respond to those more quickly. Also, I do read every letter and email you guys send, even if I haven't been able to get back to you yet. I'm also working on that, working through the backlog. <laughs> also, you guys have heard me mention in many videos, I think in, including in this one earlier, about my BetterHelp Counselor, which is a mobile counseling service. So you can do it from your phone or your tablet or your laptop. You don't actually have to go anywhere or like into an office to talk to a licensed counselor or therapist. And it's much, much more affordable than traditional therapy. And I just really recommend it if you are someone who's struggling not just with your weight, but with any kind of issue. It's been helping me a lot deal with some of the emotional stuff that I've been going through while I find these keepsakes and things I've been holding on to for years while I go through this office. Anyway, if you guys are interested in a free week trial of that, you can check out my BetterHelp referral link in the description box below and it'll give you a free week trial. If you don't like it at the end of the week, go ahead and cancel, no harm, no foul. You won't be charged for anything. And last but not least, next week I'm going to do another Q and A. So be sure to leave me some questions down in the comment box if there's anything you wanna know or anything you're curious about, and I will try and get to those next week. So I hope wherever you guys are, you are safe and happy and healthy. Remember to just keep trying the best you can, and I will see you on Monday.